Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add offset columns in your date table, like year offset, month offset, quarter offset, and day offset, and then how you can use them in a custom set of offset slicers like this. Let's check it out how it works. Uh, I have previously uh, wrote an article and uh, also a video about uh, all-in-one Power Query scripts to a script to create a date dimension in Power BI. You can go and access it. The link to this is in the article related to this down in the description below. Um, now, recently I updated it and I added a few more columns to this. Uh, the code for this can be all fine down below all the way here. Uh, you can copy this code and create a dimension using uh, that code. Now, uh, here I just show you what uh, these new columns are. So I've added four new columns, which is date, a day offset, month offset, year offset, and quarter offset. What are these offset columns? These are um, representing the difference uh, based on day, month, year, or quarter from the current state, from the today's date. For example, day offset, if I go all the way down to find day with offset zero, that would be uh, today's date, right? Based on current uh, date in my system, which is 8th of May, this should be showing today's date, the one with zero, here you can see that. Um, and uh, the day after that, tomorrow is offset one, the day before that, yesterday is uh, offset minus one, right? That's how it works for the day, for month, year, and quarter. These are, let's say, calendar month, calendar year, calendar quarter. So that means that today, considering today is 8th of May, uh, anything in May would be in month offset zero, right? But anything in April, like this, for example, 30th of April is minus one. Or if I go one month uh, ahead, that would be um, anything in June is one, right? So th these are calendars uh, offsets and same for the quarter and for the year, right? Uh, so you can add these columns and you can actually build this whole table using that script provided in that um, other blog and video and um, you can easily uh, create it because all the steps are explained over there. Now how you, how you can use these offset columns, you can use them to create a set of slicers like this. So these are slicers, each of these slicers is one of those offset columns I have used and uh, you can easily filter things with this. So this is saying that I have data for off offset year minus two means two years ago till one, which means one year ahead. I can change it and say uh, only current year and the year after, right? And this is how it looks like. Or I can say, for example, only do it based on a quarter. Um, give me those that are in like one quarter ago to, to now, right? So that would be like last quarter and this quarter. Uh, and you can do that based on month, based on day. Uh, there is a relative date slicer in Power BI, which I explained it in my previous video. But the thing is that that uh, sometimes has some limitations, especially for time zones and things like this. Um, because when you publish your solution to the Power BI, you are working with the time zone of the server. Um, this method, however, if you want to be working with your own time zone, uh, part of this expression, if I go to advanced editor of this Power Query script, uh, one part is today as a variable. Now, if you want to have your customized time zone, you can provide uh, another expression here that provides the local time zone for your um, uh, for your local time zone provides the today's date, uh, regardless of is it in running in your machine or running in the cloud machine. And I have uh, another article about that, which you can again find the link to that 
uh, in the description below as well. Uh, so altogether, this is a method that gives you these offset columns. You can use them in slicers. You can use them in your DAX expressions. Uh, however, I don't really use it much in DAX expressions because DAX is quite powerful with time intelligence functions and you can do whatever you want with those functions anyway. But, but this gives you the flexibility in case you want to use something else in DAX. Um, this gives you that option to have columns like this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.